guys resolve problems in the playground, but in my days, what we did was rock, paper, scissor. From who gets the start in a game of marbles, skipping rope, or even using the soccer net. I don't understand why world leaders can't use it. it. Seems fair to me. And so in honor of being back in school, this week's tutorial is also a collaboration with the same theme. This week you guys will learn how to make rock, paper, scissor magnets for your lockers. And they have such cheeky faces too. And this week's collaboration is with my friend Amy from Little Surprises YT. And she made this really awesome pen pencil, which is kind of trolly because she knows that teachers want you to use pens, but it looks like a pencil. Such evil ways. Here's what you'll need for this project. Gray, white, rounded and pointy tools, a cutter, a magnetic strip that can also be a sticker at the back, rubbing alcohol and a q-tip to clean up your piece in case you get fingerprints or too many dust particles, orange, black and pink acrylic paint. Now the first thing we're going to do is start with the paper. Take your white clay and flatten it out, about this thickness should do, and cut it into a rectangular sheet. Now take your pointy tool and make three holes where the holes would be for an actual sheet of paper. Take your rubbing alcohol and q-tip and clean it up in case you got too many dirt specks on your white. Now we're done for the paper for now, put it on the side. Now for the scissors, you're going to take your grey clay and make a chubby, long carrot out of it. Once you have this piece, flatten it down. Take a large rounded tool and poke a hole on the biggest part of that carrot. Now pinch right underneath it so that it's slimmer. There you go. Now make a second one, like so. Now you're going to take one of the sides and put it on top of the other one so that it makes kind of an X. Voila. Now take your rubbing alcohol and q-tip again and clean it up in case you got too many fingerprints on there. For now we're done with the scissors. Put them aside. Now for the rock it's fairly simple. All you have to do is take a ball of grey clay, lightly push the ends with your fingers, and then just make sure that the back is flat. Here's our rock. Here are our three pieces. Now bake for 8 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Here they are all baked. Before we paint the faces on, we're going to color the scissors. So take whichever color you like and then do only the top half. Once the orange is dry, just put a small drop of grey. Now for the faces it's fairly simple. All you have to do is take your black paint, make two little eyes and the mouth. Expressions are entirely up to you. Once you're done making the faces, take your pink and make two little chubby cheeks. For the paper, feel free to take your black paint again and make some squiggly lines so that it looks like it has some writing on top. Now take your magnetic strip, cut it into slices and stick them behind each piece. If you're a little worried, feel free to put a little glue right in the back just for extra reinforcement. Ta-da! Now all that's left to do is to put the glaze on. If you want, feel free to add that blue line on the left hand side of the paper to make it a little more realistic. All done! Now don't forget to check out Amy's video and her channel and subscribe while you're there. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, DeviantArt and Tumblr. Until then, I will see you guys next week.